session you're actually a bit late but that's okay let me try and relax you combination of wine ASMR the perfect combination right so today we review on a wine from Romania now I visited Bucharest back in 2017 I believe great town great country Romanian people are very friendly uh, it's inexpensive to travel to Romania good quality wine good food there's actually this lovely 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 little restaurant um, called Caracumbere if you're ever in Bucharest you should definitely visit this restaurant it's kind of touristy but it's worth it so today I got my old-fashioned cork corkscrew over here um, this is actually it's not a local variety so it's a Cabernet Sauvignon cab and um, I was struggling to find Romanian variety uh, now with the lockdown and even so Romanian wines are not so popular in Greece which is my country nevertheless I managed to purchase this bottle it was I think the only Romanian uh, wine that I could find at the time so I'm gonna open it straight away let's review this it gets a bit interesting I'll tell you why even though I haven't got high expectations this wine because the price was quite low and uh, even though my expectations are not high this particular wine gets interesting because it's a vintage of 2007 so it's a 13 year old wine let's just hope it's still alive okay um, many wine bottles on the cap have this thing I don't know what you call this where it's actually here to help you open the first layer of the wine cap if if we didn't have this thing sticking out we would cut it through with this right here so I'm gonna go ahead and open this um, we're gonna let it breathe for a bit I'll explain why oxidation is very important in an aged wine so let's just open the cork see what we have here okay we'll be right back Now, 
so when you open I'm gonna let this breathe for a little bit firstly in the wine bottle when you open a vintage wine oxidation plays a huge role because we want air to like wake up waking up the wine which has been sleeping for 13 years remember this is the wine is alive okay um it's been sitting in here for 13 years we need air to insert the wine once we open it now prior to that we need air to insert the wine insert the wine um in order to unblock its aromas its flavors and just bring out the wine altogether so what we do for this we grab this is called a decanter okay so this is shaped this way in order to allow maximum air to enter the wine so i'm just going to decant the specific wine and we'll be right back you know the first time you open a vintage wine so as of now which it's been open for under a minute the the scent you get is not pleasurable it's actually bad this will change okay so it's time for some decanting okay By the way, this is a Cabernet Sauvignon. As I mentioned, it's not a local variety. I couldn't find a local variety from Romania. So we have a Cabernet Sauvignon. You can see the color, it's very brownish, which is an indication of aged wine. This is a Cab. Um, Cabernet Sauvignon is the most planted grape variety in the entire world. So at the end, while I'm pouring, I want to make sure that no, none of the sediment that's been built up in the wine enters the decanter. So there we go. Just let it breathe for as long as it needs to. Um, you can see in the bottle here, this, this like, it's like it's not dirt, but it looks like dirt, like soil. It's been built up in the wine um, when in the process of aging. So this happens to every wine. If you leave it for 10, 15, 20 years, you'll definitely have some sediment. We don't want this in the decanter. We don't want to drink this, okay? So do not be alarmed if you open a vintage wine and you see something like this. So I am going to actually pause the video, I'm going to let this breathe for approximately half an hour to 45 minutes and we'll be back because right now this is not drinkable at the moment, it needs air, it needs to rest, it needs time, it may even need like two hours, I've opened the wine bottle that's requested hours in order to be able to be consumed so we'll be right back stay tuned so we're back um, after approximately 40 minutes I poured myself some wine I haven't tasted it out I've sniffed it and uh, we're doing okay maybe it could still need a little bit longer but it does resemble wine right now so we'll be just fine let's see still quite tannic um, I'm getting a lot of earthy aromas I'm getting a lot of leather of uh, stone of a little bit of soil even um, what else yeah tar and leather all the way this is your typical aged Cabernet. Um, this actually has passed its peak, so 2000 
7 I would consume this well approximately around between 2010 and 2013 today as of 2020 it's past its peak it's not bad though it hasn't died yet it hasn't turned into vinegar it's perfectly fine um, by the way this was why does it say it Casa di Vinori Uzi, so Vinori Uzi is the winery, Cabernet Sauvignon is the variety vintage of 2007. Um, what else can I give you here? Romania is quite popular in Europe for its wine. Um, it's not like, doesn't make the first team, but it is a substitute, it's very good. Um, this winery is located, I believe, where is it? It's Eastern Romania, uh, near Moldova, and I believe the place is called, um, let me remember, it's the guy who sold me this wine, told me the name, so it's been over a week now, uh, the name is Piatra, I think. So if you're from Romania, you can confirm this. So this was a vintage wine. Please, whenever you open a vintage wine over 10 years, please decant it. Otherwise, you'll have a much different experience. So this was Romania, vintage of 2000.